Hi everyone, welcome back to Thriving with Richard Bass. Today we're going to talk about the connection between ADHD and oppositional defiant disorder. It's a topic that is widely discussed and there's a lot of information out there. However, we're going to break it down in a way that's easy to understand and most importantly, provide practical tips for those of you who are dealing with this. What is ADHD? Before we dive into the connection between ADHD and oppositional defiant disorder, let's define what ADHD is. ADHD stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, which is a neurodevelopment disorder that affects both children and adults. It's characterized by symptoms such as hyperactivity, impulsivity, and inattention. What is ODD? Now, let's move on to Oppositional Defined Disorder, or ODD. ODD is also a neurodevelopment disorder that affects children and teenagers. It is characterized by a pattern of hostile, disobedient, and defiant behavior towards authority figures. The connection. So what's the connection between ADHD and oppositional defiant disorder? Well, studies have shown that children with ADHD are more likely to develop ODD than children without ADHD. In fact, up to 40% of children with ADHD also have ODD. This is because the symptoms of ADHD, such as impulsivity and hyperactivity, can make it difficult for children to regulate their behavior and emotions, which can lead to defiant behavior. What are the implications? So, what are the implications of having both ADHD and ODD? Well, it can make things even more challenging for children and their families. Children with ADHD and ODD are more likely to have academic and social problems. They're also at risk of developing other mental health disorders such as anxiety and depression. How to manage? Now that we've discussed the connection between ADHD and ODD and its implications, let's talk about how to manage it. The first step is to get a proper diagnosis from a qualified healthcare provider. Once you have a diagnosis, it's important to work with a mental health professional who has experience treating children with ADHD and ODD. They can provide behavioral therapy and medication management if necessary. Practical tips. In addition to professional help, there are also practical tips that you can implement at home to help manage your child's symptoms. For example, establishing a routine and setting clear expectations can help children with ADHD and ODD feel more in control. It's also important to praise and reward positive behavior as this can be more effective than punishing negative behavior. Conclusion To sum up, ADHD and ODD are two neurodevelopment disorders that are often linked. Children with ADHD are at a higher risk of developing ODD, which can make things even more challenging for them and their families. However, with the right diagnosis, treatment, and practical tips, children with ADHD and ODD can thrive. Thank you for tuning in to Thriving with Richard Bass. I hope this video was informative and helpful.